Today we're discussing agricultural land investing opportunities in Albania, this incredible country in the Balkans, right on the coast. So this is a very interesting opportunity. I, I've talked about in other videos, I'll have linked in the description about investing in potentially the capital city of Albania, Tirana. I actually got the opportunity to spend a month there touring some real estate, really doing more research into emerging markets. Um, in the Balkans, I've been traveling currently here in a prison in Kosovo. So I think the Balkans are a very, very interesting opportunity. But when it comes to agricultural land investing, um, this was actually a comment request by uh, one of our viewers. So let me know in the comments if you want to see any other country, emerging market real estate, what style, you know, if you want to see uh, emerging market um, investing in businesses, emerging market investing in something like real estate or even land, um, which kind of go in the same category. These are very important, but you have to understand that you have to kind of break up land and um, residential and commercial real estate because land currently is in a different classification for Albania and a lot of emerging markets than you have um, versus real estate, like, like just property that you can own. Because as a foreign investor, you know, someone in America, someone in Canada, these Western countries, you can invest very actually easy. It's, it's a very smooth process if, if it's just residential or commercial property. But when it comes to land, you have to invest kind of a, a, you have to do a little work around because with, with agricultural land in Albania and again, a lot of other emerging market countries, they, they kind of preserve the right for locals. So, so people with citizenship in Albania to invest in agricultural land. So, so a way to get around this is partnering up with someone in Albania. Um, you, you can reach out to me, I have a, a contact um, in the description that you can reach out if you're interested in this. I have some contacts in Albania that I could hook you up with. And um, it's, it's interesting because what you have to do is you have to kind of invest indirectly. So, so direct investment, again, would be putting it into something like real estate or in a business, which is a very, very smooth process in Albania. But as far as agricultural land goes, you have to invest indirectly, okay? So you, you would have to partner up with a local and there's tons of great opportunities, especially in the capital city to uh, make connections with um, different business people, um, e even people from, from these other countries that have gotten citizenship in Albania with citizenship by investment or um, you know residency turned into citizenship. Uh, and in this creates for an interesting opportunity to kind of form a partnership, someone that could potentially you know like watch after this land or watch after this investment and you pay a percentage to, uh, while you, you don't have to be in Albania. So, so that's kind of the, the kind of starting point. But really what I wanna talk about is, is the interest in agricultural land in Albania, because there is a lot. And the capital city of Durace, which I, again, had the chance to kind of do more research in their um, different investment opportunities there, uh, they have this very, very interesting port. And while the port is not massive, it can't accommodate for the largest kind of cargo ships bringing in meat, what, what we see is, is a ton of grain being imported. And this is one of the opportunities I'll be talking about a bit later is um, grain and meat, okay? So just to kind of understand in the beginning is that Albania's agricultural land is very underdeveloped. And even with the abundance of water resources and fertile land, um, it's still, still very, very underdeveloped. You know, we're, we're in this weird situation with Albania where they have this abundance, kind of a, a great area where you could see a lot of growth as far as ag land. But we don't see this because of the lack of investment. Also, in my other videos on Albania, I talked about a lot of the population statistics, how the younger generation, pretty much, it's like more than 50% wants to move out of Albania. We see really high unemployment. So this is kind of like a diamond in the rough opportunity, in my opinion. So again, it takes proper research. It takes the proper connections. Let me know in the comments, um, you know, if, if you want to hear more about this. But this is basically what we're going to be talking about. So. Basically, you have to remember that, again, you cannot invest directly into agricultural land as a foreigner. There are options to partner and, and basically invest indirectly. So you should understand that the land basically breaks down the country into 24% is agricultural, 36% is forest land, and then you have 15% pasture and meadow, and then 25% urban areas. So this really shows you that you know a lot of it is, is this forestry, that's the massive amount, and then you have the ag land, which is about 24%. And, these percentages are all very, very key to understand because in total, so, so it kind of shows you, you know, like if, if you're investing in the agricultural land, what percentage of the ag in Albania do you own? So, so um, it, it basically Albania as, as a whole, the country is 28,750 square kilometers. Okay. So let's say, if, you know, you can kind of do your calculation from there. So you can, you can kind of look into this, by the way, the land is very, very cheap currently in Albania. Uh, I think it's gonna go even lower in 2021. And as we're kind of seeing these emerging markets go down a little bit and in the United States and Western countries keep stimulating the economy, it's, it's gonna be a nice opportunity to get into emerging markets. I'm thinking around 2022, 2023 is one of the best opportunities. 
But um, we'll see how this year plays out with uh, the monetary stimulus in, in these Western countries. So uh, it's very interesting. Uh, and, and surprisingly, the Albanian currency um, actually has the Albanian lek um, actually has pretty stable. And um, when you compare this to, to other places like uh, like the Serbian dinar and, and um, the Turkish lira, uh, Albania is kind of interesting when it comes to just the currency perspective and how you can get into this. But again, as, as the US dollar goes up, the elect will go down a bit. So uh, it, it, we'll just see how this plays out. So there's, again, a big opportunity in grain because the uh, Albanian's population consumes 500 metric tons per year. And this is basically almost all of it is being imported. So again, that, that big um, import hub in, in Durace, where uh, if you visited Durace, you can see this, you know, if you're walking along the beach um, and kind of seeing all these dilapidated properties right, right on the coastal, which is like so much opportunity, you then get to this area where it's like a port, and then in between that port is like the main downtown Durace, okay? So, and, and downtown Durace is very, very pretty, um, but, uh, and you have the castle in there, but this port kind of separates the two, and, and this is a massive, massive hub for importing grain. And again, Albania has the opportunity to grow their own grain, have this be, you know, organically grown, not have to pay all these costs of, you know, imports, and then like in, in reverse exporting other things. Um, just having it locally grown in Albania is, is a huge opportunity. And again, pretty much all of this, I think it's like 90% is imported. So 500 metric tons a year, this is massive. And the second opportunity would have to be meat. You know, currently um, Brazil is number one for importer into Albania, and then number two is actually the United States. And this is not cheap meat, you have to understand. This is expensive meat. And again, this is coming in from a bit uh, Brazil and America. And I think this is a giant opportunity because it, at least with my time in the capital city of Tirana, there's really this growth in this, um, you know, kind of more health conscious, uh, I would say like health conscious, uh, like green drink smoothie, um, organic um, style of eating, which we're seeing, you know, all the all the craze in in you know Canada, in um, in California, especially in America. But America's really gotten this where you know you pretty much in each city there's like a green drink place, which I really I always look for that in different countries. But to be honest with you, Tirana is one of the only cities in this Balkan region that I've found Serbia a little bit, but um like Belgrade. But uh, Tirana has incredible green drink smoothies and also um, uh, Tivat and Montenegro in the Bay of Kotor. But I think out of all of them, Tirana by far has the most. So they have crazy, like uh, green pea protein and like all, all these different like juicing places with like organic meat. But again, the the um, actual supply of organic meat should be coming local. That, that's the key here is I think moving forward in the next 10, 20 years, if you're just looking at it from a macro perspective is, these different these new, these countries really need to focus on their own um, infrastructure, their own economy, and growing local. This has been huge in America. You know, kind of farm to table is, is a giant thing. And although it can be a bit more you know expensive in the beginning, as time grows, people really begin to adopt this more and more. And um, I think this can be huge because really you can think about it as like if if you're growing good quality organic meats, which you have the opportunity to in Albania because of the cheap cost of land. Um, and, and again, the abundant soil, the, the mass amounts of um, like water supply um, with, with bodies of water in Albania, um, you, you have this great opportunity. So this is just kind of my thoughts on Albania um, as far as agricultural land. Let me know what you thought, if you enjoy this kind of more emerging market real estate style um, video, or if you like more the cryptocurrency or the stock style video, just let me know in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. As always, like, subscribe, or button all. Like, subscribe, or button all. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you want to stay up to date with our new videos. And then hit the notification bell because a lot of this content is time sensitive. So, as always, invest global. And until next time.